Hello guys, today we are going to learn what is Figma and how to create, how to log in into the Figma and how to create a login page for the Figma. Okay, so basically what is Figma? Figma is a platform where you can design UX, UX journey and UI uh, user interface uh, for your project, like a kind of prototype or something. Okay, so how to enter what we need to search in the search bar to go for the Figma so you can usually type figma okay click on enter see here we can get figma the collaborative interface design tool click on this okay get started you will get a pro options if you want to log in with any external accounts then you can go with other you can go with that otherwise you can go with continue with google now i am going through continue with google so, I got my mail. Fabricated as. Okay, so select the page. Okay, now. Okay, so let's me explain how many kinds of frame do we have in the Figma. Okay, so. Usually, if you are working for any mobile application and mobile webinars websites, you need to select frame and see. You will get to see here. If you are working for a mobile, you can go with the mobile section. Or if you are working with, if you are working for any uh, computer desktops and creating any applications or websites for the computer desktops, then click on this. Uh, sorry, not TV. Uh, go to the frame pack again. Click on desktop and you will get to see a desktop op desktop option here. So you got the desktop option. Now let's go into the desktop option. You have this kinds of feature and how to create how to add color in this frame. So simply just uh, click on this. When you click on this, you will see the option here fill. Okay, uh, select you go here. Let's change from here. Okay, click on this. Add color black. All right. We added the color black. Now, how to add tabs and etc. from like rectangular again. So, click on rectangular. Make a tab. Okay. What is the size of this tab? Five out seven into ninety four. Uh, let's stretch this till more. Okay. Five sixty four into sixty four. Now let's clear, uh, instead of choosing one more, let's directly copy this and control plus V. We got a copy of this, now paste here. Got it? Now let's create an email. Uh, let, now, not only this, we need to also create that. How should an user know that which tab is belongs to uh, email and which tabs is belong to password? So for that, we need to create a tabs for them both though. So copy, control plus V. I got it. I'll take a side. Now drag this one. Minimize the size of this. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's control plus C. Let's copy this. And are you, isn't it copied? Okay. Let's do again. Control plus C. We got a copy. Still not. Let's copy from here then. Control plus C we are okay, still not getting any copies. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's take a copy from this, okay? So let's take a copy from this. Hey, I think it's not working. Let's choose this. Got it. See both the size of the tabs should be similar. Okay, otherwise it's uh, it's give you a uh, PR kind of look so it's 94 94 to not put in a now what another tab we need to add is that is start tab okay uh, so let's create a start tab here then we did it and we need to add text in this so uh, let's select a text okay let's occupy this complete space for the text uh, go here select a Test style which which whatever you want. I will go with the Pacifico. Okay, change the size of the 
tag according to your headlines according to your uh, according to your ideology for the login page i will go with 64 because i think it's more enough for the for to write company name okay so we are writing the company name here okay default done now let's uh let let's add few more tests in this like mail password etc okay select test from here see we need to keep a different text in this in this uh, mail password and this start button because it should not be related to the uh, name of the branding or name of your company so i think we need to change the style also let's create a text style uh, type whatever you want the name of the text style description show let now you need to change here show more uh, change the style of the font uh, that will be the best for this select the size uh, 46 will be the more enough to create uh, create style okay now let's add the text here like email and uh, here let's add a test password okay now let's add a start button also here Uh, let's do one thing let's increase the size of the star uh, size of this so let's create and one more test and let's change the description show more let intern will be let now let's increase the size of this let's go with 40 is i think 40 will be good enough start now let's increase it a little more okay. mm. okay so where is this increase it's 48 no uh, 64 okay let's go to 64 it's good enough it's good enough so we had completed this login page there is a one more step we haven't followed that is uh text of login because the user should have to know now what for what purpose is this page so let's write the purpose of this page login Got it? You got it? So done. See, I am not. I am not good at the UX journey. Uh, I just see. I'm. I'm not in that. I'm not good at UX journey. See, this is I given a just a basic example that how to create a login page. If you have more techniques to create such kind of uh, login login pages which are more effective and which looks very good in that uh, for example i will show you because i have a recent project for, of my of my new startups okay let me give you an example yes Let's go my go into my mail. It's login. See the main purpose of this webinar is showing your creativity for your project prototype. Okay. I hope this platform gives you the best result. See, this is uh, this is our recent project where me and my team worked on it. So this is our recent project, and this is how we created a login page and sign in page of sign in page of a website. So this is how it looks like. Like, see, it's a sign in page, and it's a login page. Look, you can also add some additional you can also add some additional uh, elements in this. 
but this is how you need to show your creativity in this okay so let's get back to our topic again so here we are now i think i need to log in back again so this is how you need to log in into your account just so you need to create a figma so i hope you got the all the points from here uh, thank you for giving your time to listen the class thank you